The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm proud, proud, proud for to have you here, uh, I, Jeremy. Yeah. Are you, are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm I'm Boy, I'm you had a hard time getting those words out. No, I'm good. I'm fine. Dan, you know this is mostly a uh, this is an audio medium. I want to I want to tell you something, Scotty. It's been uh, extra time since we recorded our last episode, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem like long enough. No, it, doesn't. it really should have taken more time. <laughs> we we should have taken another week off. No, nah, it's okay. No Fuck this fucking show. I'm going home. All right, bye. Uh, but also, <laughs> uh, we have another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2020 funniest person in wichita kansas the contest winner and we say or we refer to him on a regular basis on this show we like to say if you don't like dan the man then fuck you and or that's you we didn't got. like or you didn't meet dan the man <laughs> or yeah, you didn't meet dan the man but yes a, yeah dan the man is in the house <laughs> yes sir Hi, I'm likable <laughs> yeah, friendly right. dtm yeah dtm now dtd down to dan down to Dan. Uh, yeah, that's a verb. Dan the, Dan the man. Oh, okay, that's, that's fine. Right. That's fine. But anyways, what you think I was talking about? Like <laughs> I wanted to fuck him? Uh, maybe I don't know. Huh? Could have been. All right. We got a lot of stuff to go I mean, over. I wouldn't be opposed. I, I don't know. I mean, he. I mean, he's got a shiny head. Sure, he does. Yeah, I'd take it. Mm -hmm. I'm attracted to shiny <laughs> objects. <laughs> right. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to get to. This week's episode is full of uh, sports news. We got the ick, real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, questions for Guntas, another draft, and as always, a uh, Lego-sponsored uh, shitty situation. Uh, but before we get to that kind of stuff, uh, we've had a lot going on over the last week with us, uh, but as always, we're going to talk to our guest first, and we want to see how he's been over the last shit months. You have to go over everything you've done since the last time you were on this show. Yeah, oh, I go. Yes, <laughs> I did some time. High dying. <laughs> I did some stand up you, comedian you should things. Actually, see, Dan has some, gotten into tie dying. Yes. Scotty, it's, it's some pretty cool shit uh, that he's oh, made. Oh, he showed me a couple shirts, like pictures of him on his phone, and then once he wore one to the bar, and I was like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah, man, there you go. It Let's angers see. me so much that tie dye is a hippie thing because I hate hippies, so I have to hate your tie dye. Yeah. But otherwise, I would like it a lot. I can make one if I if I take one of those tapestries, those wall tapestries I do, and just uh -huh. and just sew it into a shirt for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That'd be perfect. Yeah. I would actually prefer you just kept it a tapestry, and I would like take a knife and cut a hole in it like Rambo did in First Blood. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then just go on a killing spree. Or like Mike Tyson mountain. would put over his head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Exactly. I like Come that. Come out and just. Shirtless with fucking Those black shorts, beat mm -hmm. up butterflies. No, yeah, yeah. no. Uh, what he he didn't? Did he wear socks or were they just short socks? I don't. He know. didn't wear standard boxing shoes. I remember that they were always different in solid black. Rocky. Yeah, no. Rocky. Oh. Who the fuck brought up Rocky? Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. He's oh, almost yeah, as good yeah, as yeah, Rocky. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I was looking at something, but no, it's, you are right. They were definitely shorter. They didn't go. They yeah. were they were low yeah, or he lower. Yeah. He never wore a robe either. That was that was always a cool thing. Mm -hmm. Iron. He was made of iron. But anyways, what else have you been up to? <laughs> oh, man, I am living life. Went to a, a wind surge game locally here, which was really great. Mm -hmm. I got to hang out in one of the uh, in the uh, the suites, which was cool. That was oh. so sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was pretty rad. Okay, yeah. this pisses me off a little bit. Okay. Oh. Well, I know the assistant general manager of that team, and I seem to be the only person <laughs> I know who has not gotten to watch a game from up in... The luxury suites. <laughs> is it because I said I didn't care for the name at first? No, I know what it is. It's because it's all you can eat hot dogs, and he doesn't want to go bankrupt. That's right. <laughs> yeah. 
dude. Either that's that, a good point. You you actually do make a very yeah. good point on that. I think you made fun of his short shorts a little too much. I, I wasn't making fun, just commenting on the fact that they <laughs> cut off the blood, blood supply to his nipples. <laughs> I, it just... Funny, I, I don't know why the blood's flowing up from his legs in this scenario to his nipples. I mean, the blood should go right from his heart to the nips. It's right back there. But in this scenario, I, I, I said the wrong thing, but I'm going to cover it up by saying that the shorts cut off the blood supply to the nipples. Okay. I like enough. to think that Bob at all times has rock hard nipples. Right. But how was your experience? Uh, you got to be in the suite. It is pretty cool. I know. I've been. It was sweet. I got to look have. over to my left and sure. about four suites over is where Derek... Um, performs his talking to the audience. Yeah, the wreck. You're talking yes. about the wreck? Yeah, yeah the wreck. Yeah. That's what we call him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got you know, to... Uh, at the first of the show. I got to scream his name, and all the highfalutin people and all the booths around me were like, the fuck are you screaming? <laughs> this is not what we do here. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Jarek! Yeah. Are you here for a baseball game? Yeah. We don't really watch the games. We no. just mingle. Mm -hmm. They do. It was a lot of meat. Eat our free hot dogs. A lot of drinking, a lot of yeah. eating. I would imagine. Oh, and I saw a lady get hit by a ball, like hard. <laughs> it wasn't the typical way you would get hit by a ball. It was, um, so there's a, a big net, of course, behind the first baseline, and the ball goes way, way up over the net and then starts to come down. And it's an older lady for sure. And the ball <laughs> comes down right on the top flat part of her foot. And it banged up, like if 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 you're watching this, if my hand is a foot, it hit it, and it was a big, huge purple welt. I have a picture of it. <laughs> I will like email it to you. No, it's I don't want. It was it. very nasty. Uh, that's why you always bring your glove to the ballpark, folks, that's and don't right. forget to bring an extra glove. Put it right there on your foot. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she got whacked. Uh, but you've been doing some uh, stand-up comedy. Yeah, I I am the 2020 mm -hmm. Wichita's funniest person. I got to host the 2021 competition where the wreck mm -hmm. jeremy yes i got the i, I got I, the i got the I, i'm not the wreck i know <laughs> i judged i i, I he sat in, in judgment yep yeah and so i got to pass on the uh the title the trophy the belt to uh to derek which was really really good that that's the only way he I, won i found it weird that you actually took off your belt <laughs> yeah because uh, there is no belt there for no. winning that you just took off no my pants didn't come down they oh, you did are, you guys don't have a belt i know i know a company that makes oh, them for fuck's sake no what they're oh, supposed to do is give sake. a bracelet but i haven't gotten it yet i keep getting promised but i, I feel like now that my reign is over and someone else has won it that that yeah. bracelet's never yeah what are you gonna do sue them <laughs> right yeah. I just want to wear it, and people will say, hey, what does that say? I'll be like, funniest person in Wichita. Like just today, someone was like, oh, maybe you could make us laugh by the end of the day. I was like, I hope so. <laughs> I love that. Tell us a joke. Tell us yeah. a joke, comedian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, anything else? Yeah, since it's been over a year since I've been here. you, <laughs> you know got that. a lot of shit yeah. to go over. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Any more? Are you good? I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. How's that Firebird going? Yeah. I have a Firebird. Yeah. A gold 79 Pontiac Firebird. Nice. It goes vroom, vroom. I'm sure it does. That's what all uh, cars do. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not electric car, Scotty. Oh, that's no. true. We're getting into that age now. Mm -hmm. You know, gas prices high. Everybody's going electric. Whatever. I think uh, your neighbor has a Firebird. I pulled up. He's got yeah, a he newer does. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it does. Um, but I had it. Oh, I had Scotty's a, moving. I had an action, action-packed week. Uh, I'm, I watched a whole bunch of shows that I I. I was so amazed by. Uh, I watched uh, Expedition Unknown. Have you seen that? Oh. And uh, I, hate I don't. That show. Do you like that show? Never heard of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's like a modern day Indiana Jones guy that goes around and he like. Uh, you know, looks for mysteries and shit like that. From Wait a famous minute. Places. This isn't the two guys. No. Okay, that's a different show. No, this is uh, Josh Gates. That's unexplored and unexplained or whatever. Yeah. What where the they just go over things that have already had documentaries and shit made about them that mm -hmm. you know everything. They're not giving you anything new. Yeah, I hate those. Yeah, I hate those guys. I thought it was actually going to be one of these shows, but they uh, the, the topic was the escape from Alcatraz, like yeah. the actual escapees. Mm -hmm. um, and to my surprise, at the end of this episode, they are 99.9% .9 positive that not only did those guys escape, but they ended up in South America uh, in uh, basically a... I think selling drugs or something like that. I, I've heard this theory before uh, that one of them ran into somebody who they used to know as when they were younger, mm. who confirmed that that's who it was. And they went back and told this guy's family that, no, he didn't die in the uh, escape attempt that, no, he is alive and well in, in South America. Yeah, that's so, not what yeah. I think happened. I almost certain that my theory is 
they did everything you think they did up until getting into the water, and then they turned around and hid in the prison for the rest of their life. That, that could did. be. No one would look in the prison. It could no. be. Yeah. They, That's the last place yeah. you would look for an escaped prisoner is in prison. Yeah. So, so anyways, they actually have like technology now, facial recognition and stuff like that, to where they can do that with old photographs and stuff like that. And it was a 99.9% match on both uh, who were in the picture, and they were able to go to the exact place where the picture was taken. Fucking amazing. Now Why here, would they let them be... Why would you get photographed if... Well, that's not. They're in South America back then, dude. It's not like it's. Hey, hey, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send this into the mail and see if uh, we can I, let the authorities know. But uh, no, that was yeah. They took that amazing. off of an old Polaroid. Yeah, it was. It was an old Polaroid. Um, yeah. Here's my problem with a lot of shows like this. Now, obviously, it kind of confirmed that, but a lot of times they do them in series where they keep you holding on and they only tell you the facts that only support their theory. Yeah. And they always omit. A lot of times, a laundry list of facts that completely discredit yeah. their shit. There was one that I, my wife and I watched for like three years about hunting Hitler. Oh, yeah. About his, the, the idea yeah. that he made it over to South America. Yeah. And aside from the fact that they confirmed finding his fucking jawbone in a mass grave <laughs> in Germany like 25 years before. Right that whole show took place and so we know he died there yeah yeah he's he's not in south america he could have made it there was obviously a plan to get him over there but no, which which um which which hitler uh steve uh, steven yeah, steve, steve yeah, hitler. Hitler. yeah i heard he died in germany yeah uh but yeah, there was that you know, the good one yeah, yeah, not, yeah not, not the bad not one the, we don't, nobody knows what the fuck not, happened yeah, to that guy not the Just homicidal the, maniac the hitler we didn't want to die right that one uh, but the other thing I did watch was really, really cool, and I think maybe you guys have some ha have some kind of opinion to this that I actually really want to know. Um, it's called Sour Grapes. This guy was a fucking fraud, and he was able to... It's on YouTube. You can watch this completely, totally free of charge. But he was able... He, he was basically rubbing elbows with these people that were multi-multi-millionaires buying hundreds of thousands of dollars bottle of wine. Like, a, every one of them was retardedly expensive. Mm -hmm. And he was able to figure out what made them taste that way and he would have like concoctions and mix the 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 wines together and make them taste really fucking close yeah and then he would rip the bottles off and then put his own stickers and then sell them for hundreds of thousands of dollars wow it was fucking phenomenal and i enjoyed every bit of it but it just goes to show you that all those people that drink those fancy ass bottles of wine do you think they actually taste no they're shit? they're a hundred percent full of shit it is all about clout, Cl and yes. they, there is, uh, th there's no way that they are just that into wine that they are that particular about it. Oh yeah, that one one wine that they can sit there and go, this is absolutely perfect, and then one that tastes almost similar, I mean identical to it, and they're sitting there, oh, this is terrible. This yeah, is, this, this is this awful. Is skunk piss. They are looking at the fucking label and judging it directly sure. from that. Fuck those people. No, this dude. I don't even drink wine. Uh, and then I'll move My on. My wife does. Fuck her. <laughs> but the other thing that was fucking bizarre, and I guess it makes sense, but it absolutely ruined it for me as far as these expensive fucking bottles of wine. You ever been to like an actual wine te uh, tasting deal? I, mm -hmm. I never have, but I was watching these fuckheads, and they were taking these these drinks of uh, mouthfuls of, of expensive fucking spitting wine, wa like washing it around in their mouth, and then spitting the fuck out into well, a little that's spittoon. That's how you discover the tannins. Shut the fuck up. But anyways, yeah, I, I watched that. It was really good, though. I really enjoyed it. If we're talking about TV shows, there was two premieres this week that I started watching. Which ones? One, which probably everyone, a very common show, Big Brother. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that. It's I'm fucking out. great. Hey, no, screw everyone no, here. No. Reality shows. Reality Try shows. again. Yes. If you don't like Big Brother, then you're probably not going to like this next show. At all. <laughs> Below Deck, Down Under, and Below Deck, Mediterranean. Oh. Both started this week. All right. I don't know. Below Deck? <laughs> I've, I've heard all of those words yes. just never put together. <laughs> Below Deck is a TV show on Bravo in which they follow the crew, the crew of a yacht. And uh, week to week, think of like um, the real world, but their job is they work on a yacht. And these fancy highfalutin uh, wine spitting people come uh -huh. on and they have to serve them. And, you know, and then they make out at night and with each other like, oh, let's go. And dicky yeah, dicky. That, I'm out. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, I'm out. You got to watch know, it. Give it, uh, give it three seasons. You'll love it. <laughs> There's been a lot of times it. that... Uh, you know, Derek has been gone when I've asked Dan to fill in to host, and he's been like, "I'm, I can't, I'm too busy." I am. 
this is what you do? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the yeah. two sure. shows I watch. This is why you, you couldn't come on this show is because yeah. you're busy doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to, uh, I wanted to give a shout out. Uh, I don't know if, if Jeremy got the same phone call and this is kind of, I'm sharing something from Derek's week as if well. If I did, I don't listen. I didn't answer. I know. Um, but no, uh, Derek uh, on, I believe it was Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. I get a phone call right after I get off of work. Uh, there's obviously a baseball game that Derek is at, and so he's announcing. Um, but it turns out it was the coolest thing in the world. A father and a son were uh, doing a minor league tour and started off in North Carolina. And they listen and are fans of the show. They, you know, stopped at multiple uh, other minor league ballparks, but they made it a point to stop in Wichita to go to a wind surge game. And they went two nights hoping that maybe they would get the chance to meet Derek, myself, and Jeremy. And they uh, can, they kind of finagled their way up to let them get up to meet Derek in the actual press box, which I thought was awesome. Well, whenever they left the press box, I got a phone call from Derek saying, I swear to God, if they got to watch from a fucking luxury suite. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, Derek ends up calling me and it's like, man, you got to come up. These people are awesome. So I sp- and it was like 105 degrees outside. It was hotter than shit. But I made it a point to go and meet uh, this. I say kid. He's he's uh, he's a teenager, but all, all serious. And he was a very very nice guy. Uh, Chris and William. Uh, it's Regenthal is how it's pronounced. But it was really fucking neat. Yeah. Hi. Dan's taking a selfie of oh, himself. Jesus Christ. Um, but uh, it was really fucking <laughs> is this neat. This for your fucking reality show. Yeah. But yeah, exactly what it is. But anyways, I want to give a shout out to them because that really made my day. Uh, doesn't happen very often, but I'm always happy to do that kind of shit. So that's uh, that's my week. I know nice. she had the good sense not to ask me to come up. Yep. Uh, he he really wanted it. Out of all of the people, believe it or not, Jeremy, he wanted to see you the most. I'm very elusive. Uh, yeah. You, nobody actually informed me of any of this. Of course, I would have gone up there. <laughs> I don't uh, know. But no. We, we told him he lived an hour away, and it's a little too much, especially during a weeknight. Well, that's because you don't know distances very well. I don't live an hour <laughs> away. Um, but uh, no, I do appreciate that you didn't bother me. Um, <laughs> See? But no, I would have come up for that. Uh, if, if I'd have known the situation, I would have sure come up. And, uh, and if you're listening I big now. I would have him, too. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening now, your heart just broke. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm not the dick that I appear to be. <laughs> He's really well. Not. Yes, I am. But don't lie. I, I mean, I for for something like that, I probably would. Dick. Now, don't anybody else get any fucking ideas? I'm not going to do yeah, it for same you. Same thing. Same thing. Don't don't overdo it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, maybe they'll come through town. Yeah, maybe back again, on the way back. I don't know why they would. I don't either. Uh, anyway, go on. What was your week? No, that was my week. That was your that week. Was my, okay. Yep. Well, that was awkward. Uh, let's Sorry. see. Uh, last Thursday, I guess I couldn't have gone up to to the game on Thursday. Uh, went, my wife and I went and saw Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, sucks. <laughs> uh, How was it? I, I thought I I get it. He said my sucks. Review sucks. It's. Uh, oh, I thought that was the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah, Love yeah. and Thunder sucks. It might as well be. Yeah. Because that's that's what I'm going to call it from now on. Sure. Um, no, it's just okay. They had. Some some success with Thor Ragnarok, uh-huh. with where they were able to really pepper in a lot of good humor with it, and so for this one, that's all that they focused on was just humor, just making Thor a big dumb nincompoop, and they didn't focus at all on storyline or or progressing the overall storyline. It sucked, mm-hmm. and I mean, don't get me wrong, there was there were some legitimately funny moments in it, but it just. It didn't help the story along, and the storyline was fucking stupid. Great. Uh, let's see. Then on, uh, let's see, Sunday was my uh, my son's birthday. Happy 24th to him. Mm-hmm. Got together yesterday with him for, for dinner. Um, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, I'm the father of the year right here. That's right. Uh, I know. saw my son the day after his fucking birthday. Not on his birthday. Turns out I figured he would have had plans on his birthday, which is why I didn't you know, really do anything with him. Plus, we, we kind of sort of had tentative plans with him for lunch, and then he wound up couldn't do that, but we could have seen him later for dinner, uh, but we didn't know that at the time. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I uh, wound up taking Sunday and going to uh, a baby shower. With Ooh. me. Which is, uh, yeah, Dan was there as well. Um, Did you enjoy his company, Dan? I did. It was great. We took okay. a selfie. It was really cool. Okay, that's We fine. stole a baby. Uh, nice. Yeah. No, our uh, former... Guest host of this show, Eric Von Riker and his wife Allison are yeah. expecting a baby come October. So congratulations to them. A baby girl. 
We weren't supposed to tell them that. Oh. <laughs> they, they made sure, do not tell your listeners the gender. What yep. we got. Because we, we have actually, edit, edit that out, Scotty, we have an on-air gender reveal party That's planned. Right. That, <laughs> really? Well, we're going to be taking some time off, right? So we got to <laughs> yeah, fill those no gaps. Shit. Uh, we're both. Can, can I say dirty things on the show? Oh, yeah, of course. No. Yeah, d- uh, Jeremy and I are both going to jerk off, and w- one is going to be pink, one's going to be uh-huh. blue, and whoever pops off first is what it's what it is. And we're not we're not even going to know. <laughs> no. And, and yeah, it's really it's not even going to just Jeez. depend on any of the tests. It's going to depend on which one of us yep. is the faster yep. masturbator. Yep. So uh, I like to think I got good hustle when I jerk it, yep. and. Um, <laughs> So you're you got you got uh, got your work cut out for you. Got your work cut out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you for finishing my fucking sentence. You I was jag just, off. I was just trying to help you out. Uh, and then uh, let's see on Amazon Prime, the show I watched, The Terminal List. Ooh. Have you seen this? I no. Saw the com- yeah, I did. I saw the it's commercial. It's pretty fucking good. It's uh, uh, Chris Pratt. Oh, he I is, love Chris Pratt. He's a, a Navy SEAL. He's a platoon leader uh, who basically leads his his other Navy SEALs on a mission with with some bad intel or whatever. It turns out to be an ambush and a lot of his guys get killed. He survives along with another guy, come, but he gets a bad concussion and he comes back and turns out nothing is how he remembered it, or at least they're telling him that nothing actually happened the way he remembered it. So now Fun. he's got to figure out if he's being set up or if he's going nuts from his fucking concussion. And uh, amazingly, I called the twist ending in the first episode. It's an eight-episode deal. <laughs> and, wow. and I just said to my wife flippantly, yeah, that's a bad guy. Nice. And I was right. Um, so anyways, uh, you got that to look forward to. Absolutely. No, I highly recommend that show. We binged awesome. it in two days. Nice. Good, good deal. Is that it? And that, um, I can tell you I did not watch a game from a luxury booth. <laughs> of course you didn't. At the game. Yep. I did not get to see a woman break her foot. I did not get to meet any fans. Nah, it sucks. Uh, it sucks for I, you. Dude, I didn't do so many fucking things. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. All right. That's fair enough. Oh, yeah. I guess uh, yesterday was my brother's birthday. My, oh, happy birthday to him. My son and brother are... Or one right after the other. I like him. He likes me too. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't, Scotty. I, I think you're I, lying. I, he has a nice persona. He's nice on the outside, but believe me, as soon as you're gone, he fuck that motherfucker. Yeah, it's true. He, I had to stop him from bashing your head into the tire iron. Oh damn, that's true. Oh well, thanks and for saving my life. I, 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 I don't even know why where did you he do went that? to. Uh, yeah, he actually went and bought a fucking tire iron. Oh, I didn't want him to fuck up that tire iron. Wow, that's incredible. Because I needed to change a tire, so. Yeah. Oh uh, well. That's what my I birthday's through. this month, and and uh, Jeremy has already turned me down for uh, dinner once. Oh. Yeah, because it was his son's birthday. Yeah, that's I thought fu- that's I was gonna have up. lunch with my son. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't dinner; it was lunch, Dan. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I, it was going to be enough food. It's a, all you can eat: French fries. So it's dinner to me. I can't eat French fries or burgers. Yeah, he can't have anything with that carbs. He yeah. can. He just chooses. He, not I choose to. not to. Okay. Uh, well, moving on. Uh, before we get to the sponsor of this show, I want everybody to. En- I want to encourage everybody to go out. We have a uh, a show uh, that's coming into town, Wichita. This will be today, so the day that this the episode that this drops. drops yeah. Um, a good friend of the show, uh, AJ Wilkerson, is going to be at Vorshay's been Lounge. Friends with this guy forever. Yeah, well, yes. I've been following him for a really long time, but, yeah, uh, but that didn't mean you're friends with him. Uh, well, good friend of the yeah, show. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, we'll see. But anyways, uh, he's going to be at Vorshay's Lounge on uh, July the 13th. Uh, show starts at 8 p.m. He is with uh, Jacob Rubel, um, who is uh, his, I believe, his opening act. I think, if I remember correctly, but also an excellent, funny comedian. Uh, these guys, uh, I know. Well, I know uh, AJ is from Florida, so he's making one hell of a trip. So if you are in the Wichita area and you want to uh, go see somebody funny and possibly run into a couple of the Laughing on the Sidelines guys, we're probably going to be there. So Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a great show. Fuck, I, it's going to be awesome. It's Wednesday night at Vorshay's. If you haven't been to Vorshay's, Vorshay's is beautiful. It's they fucking have awesome. Super cool drinks. It's two levels. You can go up in the balcony. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, it's a sh- don't miss show for real. Yeah, for I, real. I will give this promise. I will give a personal meet and greet to any one of our fans who comes to see this show from Florida. <laughs> okay, there who may be a the, couple of them. Who there. makes? I mean, intentionally came after hearing this. After hearing this, yes, deal, who, deal. Who come up from Florida, same day. Yep. 
uh, just the, to see the show. If, I will meet you probably not that night because I'm busy. Right. But yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, if you are interested and you are in the Wichita area for that show, the link to buy tickets for that because they are individual seats, just like our show. Mm-hmm. That's going to happen in October. Um, you can buy tickets in our link in our bio. It's uh, AJ Wilkerson live in Wichita, Kansas. So if you can't figure that out, you're uh, special. And um, if you go to the link, you get the uh, tickets for a special price of only fifteen dollars. I don't even know what they are. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with Dude, you, but I'm I'm not lying to you. I mean, of course, this is going to be a great show. Uh, the lineup, Vorshays, <laughs> it's fucking making moves. Is fucking <laughs> stepping their goddamn game up. <laughs> yeah, they, they got Dusty Slay Dust, coming. The one and only Dusty Slay. And if you haven't checked out Dusty Slay, check out He's Dusty Slay. Fucking hilarious. He yeah. was he was the first guy you ever he worked. You worked with him the first time you ever hosted at the comedy club, right? Um, I don't know if that's the correct story, but he was definitely my favorite. He was definitely early, and he was super nice. He's a super nice guy, but we're talking about a guy who has a standing monthly residency at the Grand Ole Opry. Right. Yeah. Uh, he's been on the Tonight Show, the Late Show. Yes, he's he is a big time. And then after that, let then, me do this one because he's uh, one of my favorites, as, uh, especially uh, for my olden days, because he was actually becoming really hot right whenever I'd say a little bit before we started doing our show. But John Caparulo baby yes. that is a bad motherfucker he is funnier than shit he is he's got one of my favorite lines ever when talking about people trying to sell beds <laughs> yeah the fuck can't sleep on their bed i fell asleep on a ladder yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> i love that guy but yeah they've got an he's awesome awesome lineup going through Vorche's lounge good, just good just coming through like each month they've got yeah. a fucking great one uh, especially in October. Yeah. You this got a hell of a fucking comedy act coming uh, there. That's totally true. The, uh, there are still uh, tickets available for that uh, yeah. for our live show. You should check that out. October 22nd. Yep. And now we get to move on to our sponsor for every single episode. And they are an excellent company that make products to help, you know, groom your balls. Yeah. That, that's very important, especially right around this time of year when it's nice, hot, and sweaty outside. You don't, uh, you don't want to have your balls smelling like shit, or well, balls for that matter. Uh, but they have yeah, excellent either products. Either one of them, really. Really? You don't uh, want either one of them to much. smell like yeah. shit. Yeah, dingleberries, those happen if you have hair yeah. down there. And the lawnmower 4.0 is exactly what you need to make that not happen. Right, Jeremy? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know yeah. what I don't know what the fuck you're wanting me to say to that. Everything you said there was correct. Okay, I mean, you you can't really say you don't want that to happen. You don't know what they want. Yeah. Uh, maybe there are people out there who like Dingleberry. Some people are into <laughs> weird shit. Uh, for those people, stop listening to our fucking show. Uh, but <laughs> for everybody episodes, else, huh? How many episodes before I get a free product? Uh, I don't know. How does that work? I don't know. You can just come over and borrow mine anytime you I want. I love that. I yeah. love that. I am very hairy. If you don't know that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, except for our count. <laughs> right. uh, that's, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of odd. Uh, but no, they have a whole bunch of other products. Uh, like I was mentioning, they have the ball deodorant, which is very important for those hot summer months, and also the ball toner that uh, JP likes to wear on his face. Um, uh-huh. yeah. Sometimes I put it in my printer. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, if you don't, does it work? Nope. Nope. Uh, well, it makes my printer smell nice, like my balls. <laughs> yeah. That's Great. other than that. I mean, my my printer never sweats. Yeah. Well, if you want your printer to smell really good, you can get uh-huh. the cologne made by Manscaped.com, yep. which is called Refined. That's right. Uh, but they have tons and tons of products over at Manscaped.com. Do us a favor, go check them out, and if you purchase anything, use the promo code Sidelines. That way, you get twenty percent off of your order and free shipping, which uh, helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are reading these commercials word for fucking word. Yep. Got and it. I am going to write this down because I want to. It's my birthday month, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Now I know what to ask for. I can be like, you know, get me a little of this in my yeah, That's life. right. Yep. That's right. So uh, look into that. Wow. 20%. I, I got your, your birthday gift upstairs, by the way. Yeah. Sweet. My wife sent with a tomato with me. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yes, yeah. she did. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. It's so fucking weird. I can't believe I forgot to I give it to you. I saw the tomato. I almost asked if I could have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours, dude. BLT, Jeez, it's baby. all yours. You and you know what? Weird. Just for filling in, hosting, I'll be happy to sign it for you. There nice. you go. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now we can get to the the fun part of the sports news. Uh, I will kick you. <laughs> um, but uh, over the the Fourth of July weekend, apparently there is a annual hot dog eating competition. Don't know if you guys know not, about that. Not shit. apparently. That's for real. Yeah, it, there there is one. It hasn't been a competition for like sixteen straight years because this dude named Joey Chestnut is a fucking badass when it comes to deep throating some hot dogs. Uh, he's actually lost a step too, and he's still blowing everybody away. Did Did you see why he lost a step this year? Yes, I did. Yeah, yes, the, I did. Some fucking assholes dressed in like Star Wars masks got up onto the fucking stage in front of him not, and kind of pushed him out of the way. 
And uh, it, it had signs that says Expose Smith, Smithfield's Death Star, which I guess they use, obviously, Smithfield hot dogs, which they're, uh, there's some No, pe- they don't. They use Nathan's Famous. Oh, do they really? Nathan's that's who sponsors it. It'd be oh, that's if, right. Oh, yeah, that's if right. If they didn't. Right. But I guess, like, Smithfield. They might be, like, a parent company they're or par- something. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, it's a lot of vegan pita bullshit. Pita bullshit. Fuck those people. Which they don't even... I would love to see them next year eat the hot dogs on pita bread. That would be fucking mm. great. I would yeah. love it. I, I am... On, on one hand, I am just astounded by the hot dog eating contest. On the other hand, I am so repulsed. Oh, yeah. By it. It, it is so disgusting, just the way some of these guys just shove them down. And they separate them, and they dip the buns in water. And water. And it's like, fuck, I go out of my way to keep that ketchupy water shit mm-hmm. away from the bun you're putting yours in a fucking glass of fucking water oh yeah you sick bastard but it, i guess your mouth gets pretty dry after a while well not only that they i, I mean one of my uh, believe it or not one of my best friends is actually a competitive eater we call him steve eater on the show and yeah. uh he has done i don't m- believe it multiple okay oh. multiple um hot dog eating contests here in in the local area and stuff like that there's actually a science to it whenever you dip it in the water or sprite or whatever you use it makes the the bread able to be compacted so you can fit more of it in mm. your mouth. So. You can basically swallow it without chewing. Exactly. Yeah. So I, fun I, fact. I think those competitive eating competitions are gross. Yes. <laughs> and um, I wonder what they do after if they throw it up or take something to poop it out real quick. <laughs> no. But they always look so jacked. A lot of these people look yeah. like extra jacked. Like they Kobe Ashi had abs. Yeah. yeah. Joey Chestnut's not a fat guy by he, any means. He used to be, and then he lost a whole bunch of weight. He used to be almost 400 pounds. Oh, I believe it. And then he lost a whole bunch of weight. But I guess now what those guys do to train their stomach, they drink like a gallon of water mm-hmm. just to stretch their stomach out and then leave it hanging like a fucking... Uh, ear with big gauges after somebody takes <laughs> yeah, it out, that and that's sense. basically what their stomach is. Believe it or not, hot chick also competitively eats, and she's smoking. She goes into those restaurants that have uh-huh. those challenges for like oh, steaks yeah, and shit. She's her. fucking hot. I've seen that. Anyway, go ahead. I mm. like the um, competitive eating challenges of old before it turned into what it is now, like like the pie eating contest on Stand by Me. Like oh yeah, just okay. regular people eating a bunch of pies and then throwing it up on sure. people. Sure, that's what I like. <laughs> well, he did that to himself. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they take a laxative to get all that shit he out. Chugged but. a bottle of castor oil, and <laughs> ate raw eggs. Oh god, that's disgusting. Uh, but anyways, uh, in baseball news, we got Chris Sale uh, throws a tantrum in the dugout tunnel after walking the final batter of his rehab assignment in Worcester, which is uh, the uh, I believe trip minor league team for the uh, Boston Red Sox. It's called Worcester. Worcester, Mass. Thank you. That's okay. I'm You're from, from there. there. So, yeah, 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 thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. I can't. It's it weird. All Welcome the, to Worcester. East Coast the way that they pronounce shit. It is, it is literally totally different than, like, we have a Norwich, Kansas. Yeah. It's Norwich. Norwich, yeah. and And, like, Greenwich Road here. It's Greenwich. Greenwich. What kind of bullshit uh, that's, is that? That's New England bullshit. Yeah. It's pronounced like you spell it, you dumb Oh, fucks. that's yeah. why you, it's Worcestershire. No, I can't say it. Worcestershire. <laughs> no. Worcestershire sauce? Well, yeah, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> W sauce. <laughs> That's the hardest fucking word to pronounce. But anyways, what do you think about like uh, players doing that? Do you think it's a if you get into a rehab assignment, go down to the minors, and you have a shitty outing? Do you think that's the end of the world? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. think I think for a guy like Chris Sale, it's it's not that it's the end of the world. It's he's a super competitive guy who wants to do good. Yeah, and you know he's he basically wants to work his way back to the major leagues. And, yeah. To do that, you need pinpoint command, and if you walk a guy that you were trying to strike out, sure, that uh, that does not bode well for how things are going on your rehabilitation. Yeah, you're not there yet. What do you think about guys losing their shit in the dugout? Do you think that's socially acceptable, or do they need to be fined for doing it? I would legitimately love to see it more often. Same. I am so tired of seeing batters strike out on three pitches looking and just pretending like it doesn't fucking bother them at all. Yeah. It's like I'm sitting here as a fan – Going, come on, god damn it, yeah. do something. Throw your fucking throw, bat. Yes. Why you should be you're getting paid millions of dollars by this team. You should be at least as emotionally invested in your performance as I am. Right. And you're just acting like, yeah, oh well. Yeah. I guess I'm getting paid either way. Bebo Jackson. Fuck you. Bebo Jackson, break that motherfucking bat over your leg. You remember when he did that shit? Oh, Bo Jackson. Yeah, Bo Jackson. You said Bebo. I'm like, who the fuck is Bebo Jackson? I said Bo Jackson. Be, you said Bebo. Oh, be, be yeah, Bo like, Jackson. Be like it, Bo Jackson. You said it too quick. Yes, uh, Bo Bebo Jackson Baggins. used to do that. Yeah. Uh, he broke it over his head a couple of times. Mm-hmm. He legitimately would get pissed. Bad but that's back 
you know, that was toward the end of the era when baseball players were actually fucking hard nosed. Oh yeah. I thought he said Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's what I was meaning. That's exactly what I was trying. Dude, have you ever seen him snap a fucking bat over his, his knee? Feet. Yeah. You would you wouldn't think a hobbit would be able to get that kind of leverage. They're strong. They're That's super right. strong. But believe it or not, they can fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that elvish magic. Right. Now we get to go to some football news. Uh and I'm sad that Derek is not here, but um I wanted to bring this up to see what you think about it. Soldier Field is contemplating installing a dome. It's about fucking time. Can yeah. I ask you a question, Scott? Sure. Well, when, you, when you say this, uh-huh. are you saying it in all seriousness? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty yeah. has a problem with you, that phrase. You did. I'm not, I'm not I'm never saying it again. Good. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> Good. I will know. I'm going to say it I for you. Fucking in all seriousness, I'm going to. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, what do you think about that? Do you think it's uh, it, it should have been done a long time ago, or should they wreck that absolute piece of shit of a like, stadium and then just build a new one? I think they should erect... And I didn't hear the rest of you were going to say. <laughs> Erection? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I, I lost track of whatever you're saying once uh, I got that. New correct. stadium. Yeah. New. I mean. With a dome. Do you find. In another state. In another state? Yep. Move the Bears? Yep. Okay. Derek would be kind of pissed about that. I mean, how many Bears are really in Chicago? Put it somewhere like the Alaska. Uh, yeah. Okay. The Noma Bears. Yeah. Uh, just move them to the Dakotas. I sure. Think there's got to be Bears there. Sure. Yeah. I think that'd be all right. North Dakota, too, where they got that accent. Yeah, but anymore with football stadiums being as as extravagant as they are and taking the weather element out of there, there's a lot of people pissed about this. I, and I'm kind of one yes, of them. Yes, and that's that's a big, big thing between like Bears and Packers playing those fucking frozen cold weather games. Yep. That's a tradition that I don't think the fans would ever want to get rid of, even though it might be a little nicer to attend those games. I think that they take pride and sitting there in the fucking stands with no shirts on and the freezing cold. I agree. Uh, I do have to say that this new iteration of Soldier Field and the way that they built it kind of like inside of the old Soldier Field and then tore down the old one. Or I, I don't remember. It's some funky way that they did it where they basically built it on the same site without tearing the old one down. It's a fucking disgrace. compared. Yeah. The other one was a fucking monument to the history of football, and they just kind of built this cookie-cutter stadium inside of it and it's got no it's got no soul okay and so i wouldn't mind seeing them build a new stadium but don't put a fucking roof on it that's not that's not the chicago bears way right. in all seriousness it's not shut the fuck up just a carport <laughs> cover just okay. yeah the yeah rain off. yeah put an awning yeah, yeah. or just, just a tarp awning. just a tarp sure. fucking do yeah just yeah. bungee strap it down yeah you know tents i don't uh, mind yeah. being cold i just don't want to be wet teepees you know why not there's probably an go Indian down to lowe's and yeah. just get you a big fucking tarp they fuck make yeah. they make good size they make good ones. i mean if they're not big enough sew them together it's Absolutely. Pretty, it's pretty fucking easy and last thing sports related uh this was breaking news recently zach wilson the oh. quarterback for the new york jets Apparently, he uh, is throwing bombs and banging moms. Did you hear about that's that right, shit? That's right, yeah. I, I, I heard a little bit about this, yeah. His He's, mom's friend. That's right. He's go, a, go get him. Go get him, buddy. Yeah. He was accused of cheating on his girlfriend with his mom's friend. Yep. I bet he did it, too. Fuck yeah, he yeah. did. We have talked about it on this show. Hot daughter, MILF. Go MILF. Every, Every time. Every fucking time. Yep. Every time. I don't even know why people are mad at the kid for this. Good job, dude. Yes. And, and MILF has learned humility. And I hope the hot uh, daughter doesn't think anything bad can and happen. And MILF to her. will yeah. generally keep her mouth shut about it. Uh-huh. Correct. And I hope I hope the mom's friend actually has a son around Zach's age so he can fucking talk shit to that kid. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yep. Good for him. Kudos to you, Zach Wilson. All right. That's the sports news for this week. Glad we can be moving pretty quickly. Uh, now we get to move on to the ick. This is a new segment we started doing a couple of weeks ago. And it's pretty simple. Yeah, you're going to give a girl a rating, but then uh, say something about her, and then that rating is going to change, or not. It could stay the same. Uh, so we're going to start off with the ick. The very first one is, she's a 10, but she schedules family events and errands during your favorite football or baseball team games. I'm totally fine with that. That gets her out of the fucking house. <laughs> she, she, I, I ain't going anywhere with her. Uh, oh. the fucking game's on, dude. And I... Of course, come football now, I don't have a favorite team anymore. But uh, mm-hmm. the fucking and quite frankly, I I would uh, cringe watching a full Royals game. I'm pretty sure, even though they're on a tear right now. Yeah, five of the last seven. I, I think they won. Say, like two two um, game winning streak coming into that that All Star break. I'm I'm predicting a big turnaround second half for them. Okay. Um, but I mean, if she's intentionally doing that, like if she does it once or twice, you know, you just 
give her a little fucking chin music. But <laughs> but uh, other if she does it on purpose, yeah, that makes her like it too. Mm-hmm. How about you, Dan? I uh, would love to have a girlfriend. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm with you. Um, Mitch has been doing this stuff. Yeah. No, uh, three. Yeah. I give it a three because it's a huge pain in the ass, and it's your responsibility as a dude to go just man up, miss your shit, and do it. Um, what's not excusable is, have you ever been part of a comedy show where they, they it's like, oh, yeah, it's going to be Sunday, um, November 24th, and then you suddenly <laughs> realize, oh, it was a huge... Fucking Sunday night game that night. You're oh, like, yeah. oh, fuck, I got to go I to haven't show. been a part of a comedy show in a long time. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, most of the comedy shows I was ever a part of were Friday or Saturday gigs. Yeah. Or, or for some reason, Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, Wednesday, big day. So, and she's a three. So in the, er, in the 2000s, I would have a serious problem with this, and she would be a three. However, now I can be equal asshole. Now I can take my phone and stream said game from my phone and piss her off for doing it. So yep. yeah, yeah, but that's not what you want to do. Watch the game from your from a wedding. If she's scheduling shit for me to do while the game is on, yes, I do. I want to prove my fucking point. Why do you let your wife don't do it? Schedule your shit. She doesn't. That's why I'm married to her. She's awesome. All right, uh, next one. She's a ten, but she is really into Star Wars cosplay. Eleven. <laughs> Fuck, that's I don't know low. if you've ever seen how hot girls can be in cosplay. Uh, Star Wars cosplay? Eleven's <laughs> yep. low, bro. Yep. I mean, this this I, is a I'm, twenty. I have. It has always been my fantasy to fuck Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> and if she can pull that off, <laughs> give me that oh, tail, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Me, ja, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but no, she's a fucking twenty. Uh, next one. She's a 10, but she tries to put her finger in your mouth when you yawn. Oh, gosh. I thought you were going to say in your mouth after your butt. Because I hate when she goes uh-huh. butt to mouth. Yeah. When, you gotta women go, go ass to, to mouth. Butt. I'll lick her finger, and then she puts it in. Uh-huh. But you can't put it in and then put it in my mouth. That's not the way it goes. Once in a while, she'll switch hands and tease me. I'll be like, oh, you got me. Sure. <laughs> Because, I mean, you got to take it I mean, yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. She's yeah. never going to let you out of this handcuff if you don't. You're right. No. Yep, you are right. Yawn. How about, I, how about you, Dan? I, I didn't even remember the question. I made, <laughs> it, she does what? She goes. <laughs> she, she's a 10, but she tries to put her finger in your mouth when you yawn. Who would do that? A <laughs> fucking shitload of people. Yawning is weird. Oh, no. no. Oh, who would yawn? Yeah. yeah. Who would yawn? That's, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'd bite that finger right off. Uh, my wife does this shit, and it pisses me off. She puts, she tries to put her finger in my mouth. Like she'll see a yawn coming, and she will fucking reach across like the car, or she'll reach across the dinner table or something like that, and try to put her finger in my mouth. I always heard you had a really, really like big gag reflex. <laughs> I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? Do you what happens when that when sh- her finger goes in your mouth? Do you bite it? Do you spit? Do you cough? Uh, gag? Yeah, I sp- I bite it if if I can. Do you do the same it, thing to her? No. Honestly, the best thing to do in that I, I have found is just to pretend like nothing's happening. Just finish the yawn <laughs> and just go on with your business. Keep her fucking finger in your mouth and just pretend like it's not there. I yeah. love it. This is, I mean, see, she, she does it and I still tolerate her. So that's the one thing that makes Put my your finger like, in like your mouth. Eight. Beside I've, hers. Yeah. I've <laughs> never heard of a girl doing this before. This oh, is, I'm Jesus. glad I'm not being, a, you know. No, 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 no. no First this, time someone does it, though, I'm glad I know. Oh, man. Uh, next one. She's a seven, but she plays scratch golf. Ten, for sure. 100%. Lesbians are fucking hot. <laughs> no. 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 Not all girls that play Have scratch you, golf. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> They're not. Min- bullshit. Miniature or regular? <laughs> both. I'll oh, take yeah. both in this connection. Yeah, chances are if she's a scratch golfer on the course, she could probably putt. She could probably putt putt pretty good. Go ahead, Dan. Um... I don't like golf. It's it okay. Makes her a six. She doesn't go down that much, but then I get my Sundays free. You yeah. Know? So now she doesn't schedule fucking plans yeah, for errands game. on your, during the game. Yeah. She's out golfing. Uh, what if she makes you carry her clubs? I, I don't give a fuck. How, how fucking demeaning would that be? Oh, yeah. You don't get to golf. You just got to carry her fucking bag. I'd kind of be into that, I think. Would you? Okay. Yeah, I think at the end, then, yeah, I think I'd Does she wear really... knickers? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she does. Sweet. Yeah. Payne Stewart style. Payne Stewart style, man. They they were awesome. Uh, this is uh, Mrs. 
definitely the. Uh, this is the equivalent of your Star Wars uh, uh, fantasy for me. Like, uh, I mean, I I wish she played like Jack Nicholson. I think that would be fucking amazing. Sure. Yeah. Like, like Jack Nicholson, Nicholson huh? or Jack Nicholas? Like no, or Jack Nicholson now or nineteen seventy four? No, that was my deal. No, I, I if you if you are a a woman that is very good at golf, holy shit, double your score. Yeah, but you know if she hot. goes and wipes up the fucking course with you, that I don't you're care. not going to hear the end of it. I, I don't give a shit. I'm going to be asking her, hey, honey, can you come over and help me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I am down to take fucking, like, instructions here. No, she would just fucking stack it on you. I don't care. It would be like another day at the podcast. Yeah, it's, honey, uh, I'm out driving you now. This is fucking yeah. pathetic. I mean, you're going to be divorced very quickly, but at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because she, she keeps putting She's her fingers be, in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Marry you for a better fucking golf. Fuck. Or? That's true. Divorce you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Last one. This is actually from a fan. This is a fan suggestion. Uh, this is from Rodney. Sorry if I spell it wrong or say it wrong. Uh, Rodney uh, Fioc. I'm sorry if I, I can't see. I, I want to try it. Fioc. Fioc. Smith. Rodney Fayok. Fayok? I'd say that's good enough. It's Feelock. Oh, no, it's not. There's no L. There's no L, buddy. It's Feelock. It's that, oh, it's that silent L? Yeah. Oh, it's Swahili. It's, it's that invisible L. Yeah, that Swahili L. That's what it is. Uh, but anyways, Rodney. I before O spelled like an L. <laughs> that's right. That's the rule. Uh, Rodney wants to know, she's a 10, but she calls you dad during sex, not daddy. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to imagine that. She drops the D. D. Yeah. Uh-huh. She drops the D. Uh-huh. So she would say stuff like, oh, yeah, Dad, make me another sandwich. <laughs> oh, I kind of no. like that. But, <laughs> no. Oh, We're going to yeah, have an entire Dad. episode dedicated to what Dan does in the fucking bedroom. <laughs> yeah. No. This is uh, this is an intriguing subject. I'll be very honest with you. Um, yeah, uh, I could put up with it, except I'd be wondering if I owed child support. Now. <laughs> yeah, uh, there is no doubt. I am going to request that my next lover call me dad to see. Okay, and I am gonna hit up Rodney Feelock. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> At Rodney Fayok. Yeah. That uh, that I does look like an L. That's what that, was, that's, yeah, that's a, okay. He's got a bad printer. Nah, nah, I get, think he put some uh, you're getting toner old, man. in it. Nah, that's ball okay. toner. Yeah, he put the ball toner. I put Probably. the ball toner, yeah. No, this is zero. You go straight down to zero. You call me dad, I'm dad. out. No, I'm gone. I'm in. I'm in like Flynn. I am down to try. This, oh, fuck. I would be intrigued. I'm not sure how I would react. You can't I, imagine I it? may love it. I may fucking hate it. It's just one of those things that I would have to try and find out. No, I just, add, I just add the DY, and then we're good. It's, it's really simple. You know what? I find that actually maybe a little creepier. Well, <laughs> no. not creepier than just dad, but calling me daddy in uh, bed, I, I, that doesn't do nothing for me. I no. love it. Let's, let's love role it. play a little bit. Hold on. Uh -huh. Daddy. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Don't do that. No, daddy. no. Hey, I don't want to hear this Say shit. Say it again. Daddy. No. What? Quit. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't care for it at all. Okay. All right. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. All right, now we No, Dan, I'm not going to fuck you. That's <laughs> that's that's what where is. we're at. Sorry, Dan, you lost your fucking chance. There you go. Touch me. No. <laughs> now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, pretty much it's uh, either real shit or horse shit. So we're going to start with the very first one, which is real shit or horse shit. Anytime my spouse is doing something in the kitchen, I smack her ass. Real shit. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Fucking duh. Yeah. Anytime, Real shit. Anytime up on those tiptoes trying to get the glass off the top shelf. Every fucking That's time. Right. Leaning into the uh, the refrigerator to try to get, uh, you know, the, the chocolate-covered yeah. strawberries. And if you don't, and she knows you're back there, and you don't do it, she's pissed. 100%. Jeremy? This is horseshit for me. It's dry hump or nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay. th that is that is the absolute truth. In fact, I will sneak up behind my wife and just start dry humping <laughs> and go abnormally long. <laughs> and then, well, one time I, I started doing it. I, I don't know that I've ever seen her laugh quite as hard as I, I started doing it, but to where she could still kind of see me in her periphery and... <laughs> After about 20 seconds of it, I just pull up my shirt and start rubbing my nipples <laughs> and uh, and made this weird fucking face. 
<laughs> and it was maybe the greatest day in the history of anybody's lifetime. <laughs> uh, but no, I've, I've moved beyond the, the butt smacking right to the dry humping. And, <sighs> and then once I'm done, I go, there you go. <laughs> The How'd you like that, Daddy? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I call her Daddy. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the fucked up thing about that whole ordeal is that as much detail, that's probably fucking true. Oh, it's 100% true. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh, She'll right. tell you about that, it. We'll bring her on the show okay. at his house. It's you, true. You'll have to hear through that accent of hers, but yeah. Right. All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit. When going to a movie or sporting event, I will sneak in my own snacks. Dan? Oh, that is real shit. I sell them there. <laughs> you know how much money I make on Mike and Ike's? And, oh, for sure. Yeah. You bring the stuff from the 90s, the good shit. Yeah, the yeah. good shit. That's yep. right. Yeah, the black market. Stuff that won't melt. Mike and Ike's don't melt. Don't bring in like M&M's. They say it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. It melts in your pocket. It, it, it That's will for melt damn sure. in your pocket for sure. Yeah, no yeah shit. those fucking assholes don't carry bottle caps anymore. You got bottle caps? I just had a, a, a box of bottle caps this week in my house. Bottle? First of all, I can't tell differentiate between cola and root beer anymore. I was, oh, I was weird. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, that's, that's I, I feel up. like they did you were get very, COVID? very close. Did what? you? Yeah, did, did you, you get COVID? COVID? I, no, I didn't. Wow. The cherry, the orange, or the grape, all good. But I swear the root beer and cola were so close. I kept eating them all week long back to back. I'm like, <laughs> they both taste like soda, but I don't know which. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're not talking about actual soda. No, the bottle caps. Okay, candy. I got you. I got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. stuff I sneak into ball games. Okay. Yeah, this is this is horse shit for me. Oh, I, I sneak a soda in. I keep her, <laughs> keep her a bottle. That's horse bottle. shit. Nah, it's horse shit for me. You pay those prices? Yeah, I do. Not me. I hit DG on the way in. I gotta, I gotta support. You know, you're taking the the money that could be being paying those people, those poor people behind the counter that are working the, the concessions, man. I support the people when, at Dollar General. Okay. When That's when funny. those people decide to stop ass raping my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I will support them more often. I usually just don't have snacks at the ball game. I if I thought about getting snacks ahead of time and sneaking them in, I would. Mm -hmm. I just never think about it ahead of it's time. It's just tough to put a cheesesteak in your it back is. pocket. It, okay. it sure is. I mean, you know, I guess if I could watch a game from a fucking luxury box, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have to mm -hmm. sneak nothing in. Yep. What if you brought in your own snacks, even doing that? It was build with your free own, hot dogs and shit. It was build your own burger. I made it a double with double cheese. I just was living the life. Dude. Fuck yeah, off! It was so good. <laughs> right now, yeah. Just fuck off! Oh, come on, all break, of you. Break the diet. You could do it. I don't want to. That I'm would have been a well. twenty dollar hamburger. I was so happy. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Fucking ball game food for yeah. yeah a burger like that. It's worth more than gold. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> that's true. Next one: real shit or horse shit. I will carry in, e or I'm sorry, I will carry in every single bag of groceries just to make sure I get it all in one trip. Let me see, you want me to say it again? I, I can't talk right now. Yeah, say it like a normal person. I'm sorry. Uh, real shit or horse shit, I will carry in every single bag of groceries just to make sure I get it all in one trip. This is unfortunately real shit for me uh, to the point where just to spite myself, uh, I will leave the trunk open, so I still have to go back out there because <laughs> I, I won't be able to close it because my arms are so full of shit. I I have I may have set the world record for most weight balanced on my pinky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've cases of beer on, <laughs> on that one pinky. I've I've hurt myself doing that just to not have to make another trip. I am full of groceries. This is horseshit for me. Horseshit, horseshit, horseshit. I have spent too much time in the grocery store, searching for the deals and finding the discounts and using the coupons that yeah, I don't want. an extreme coupon. I am. I, was, I, I am a former extreme couponer and current really good person at getting um, great prices. Uh, but I'm not going to ruin the food that I got. Uh, I'm going to make several trips. I'll take, and I usually like will map it out in my brain. I'll see, I was like, this is a three tripper and I'll grab like the heavy stuff at once and then the light stuff and then the boxes. I'll have it all planned out in my head, like how I'm going to get it in, in a certain number of trips. And then I close it and lock it. And that will be my last trip. I d I'm not one that's going to carry everything at once. You're fucking weird, bro. No, right now I have 18 packages of chicken sausage that I paid that that cost over five dollars that I paid 25 cents a package for. So I'm not weird at all. I'm actually uh, very thrifty. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna 
I'm going to make you stop right there. Yep. Saying you're not weird and I bought chicken sausage <laughs> no. in the same fucking breath no. is yeah. just such a fucking contradiction in terms. No, mm-hmm. I mean, what do you think a hot dog is? It's chicken. So this is... Um, no, it's not. Buy all beef. It's all beef, bro. Which, by the way, I have, a pro- I have a problem with that phrase, all beef. The just because it's cow. Yeah. <laughs> beef in- implies meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, most of that is not meat. No. Nope. Nope. It's disgusting meat, actually. Um... This is fucking real shit. I mean, to the point to where I am, my arms are like Christmas tree ornament hangers, just like grocery bags are just being slid down each and every fucking arms. I'm not taking two trips. And that's how you free up your hands, by the way, Jeremy, is to make sure they're able to push the button or close the trunk. You got to fucking do it that Don't way. Don't tell me my how fucking does that, business boy. Uh-huh. In all seriousness, yeah. do not tell me how to do that. Fuck you. How does that flat bread taste? amazing it tastes like fucking bread that's what it tastes yeah. like it's yeah. still fucking bread Bread in any shape is that's, still bread it's still fucking bread it all comes out the same way that's exactly right <laughs> yeah a day later guess what it mm-hmm. tastes like there you go i can't have it either way <laughs> that's, that's right <laughs> <laughs> all right next one real shit or horse shit I have tons of shirts I could wear, but i consistently cycle through about 5 or 7 shirts and never wear the others that's some real shit right there. Yeah. And I, I, my whole life is trying to overcome this. I own 100 t-shirts, and everything that I wash goes back on the top. So when I go to wash, wear another t-shirt, it's on the top again. Just to uh, fill the fans in, Dan, could you please inform them how many pairs of jeans you own? <laughs> oh, mm, 30 or 40 maybe? Yeah. I and I wear maybe two or three. I have three. I yeah. Have, I have three as well. I have a yes. lot. Oh, well, I was part of a clothing club. You know, if you know if you don't know what a clothing club is, it's a mo- it's a club where they send you clothes every month I, for a certain I, amount of I, money. I, and so um, I deduced what everything it was. I'm wearing is clothing club clothes, um, and they're great. <laughs> oh shit! So yeah, shit. I've accumulated a lot of clothes over the eight years I was a member of the club. I finally just quit the club recently because I was it like a Columbia House Records thing. It is where you get like ninety pairs of jeans for a penny, and yeah. but then you have to keep buying <laughs> yeah. every month after yeah. that. He had yeah. a coupon. I was there so long they changed names twice to their clothing club. <laughs> but shit. one day I tried to cancel. It was sixty dollars a month, and they were like, "Listen, what if we drop it to forty five a month?" I was like, "All right, I'll do it." And then I stayed it, for another like three. Years. <laughs> That's really not bad. Have you tried shopping for jeans lately? Man, they're expensive. I was going to buy a fucking pair of just regular Levi's the other day. It's 75 bucks. That's yeah. right. And it's like, I mean, <clears throat> granted, I'll wear them over and over and over again, but still, that just seems a little ridiculous it to is. me. Yeah. yeah. Um, but oddly enough, all the clothes in Dan's clothing club were made of chicken sausage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's what they were. Uh, this is uh, 100% real shit for me, uh, and anybody that knows me will confirm that. So, real shit. Jeremy? What was the question? <laughs> uh, you will consistently cycle between five to seven shirts and never wear the others. I'm trying not to do that. This is a, uh, this is a new one. Yeah. I, I can, I've been trying to lose a little weight here lately, and I can finally fit back in this shirt. Nice. Why do you have a shirt with Ronald McDonald's silhouette on it? That is Han Solo. Oh, sorry. The hair made me think it was my bad. I thought this was... No. No. No, that's not. Yeah, you know, Ronald McDonald with his blaster. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta love it. I would have loved to see a heavily armed Ronald McDonald. I'm not going to lie. That would be great. Just taking it (laughs) off. Fuck you, Grimace. That's right. No, the hamburger, man. He'd take him out. You know, he's robbing people. Dude, we have law enforcement for that. Oh, okay, fine. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. After I go, number two... I will admire my work before flushing. Hmm. I horse shit. There's so much toilet paper on top of that. I can't even see it anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is horse shit, but not for the same for the same reason. Not for the same reason. Not no. for the same fucking reason. When I go number two, there's two or three courtesy flushes in between. Really? Yes. I feel bad if I'm like the guy, especially, okay, if nobody's in there, I I could give a fuck. But if there's other people in there in the public bathroom, fuck yeah, I don't want to be the guy stinking up the bathroom. Sometimes there's other people in my own home bathroom and I don't flush. Oh, okay. Wow. You come into the bathroom and I'm in there, you're in my fucking dojo, friend. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) fine. All right. Yeah, uh, this, this is the reason why I hate automatic flushing toilets. Oh, yeah? Because sometimes it'll flush on its own before I get a chance to check things out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's really, it, it's really more to just, you know, check up on, on if I'm eating right or not. 
That's fucking gross, too. I think I used to um, probably do this, but I think uh, ever since I got a bidet, I'm just more into seeing if I can go from um, level three to level four without penetrating my butthole. You <laughs> highfalutin <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Luxury Jesus boxes Christ. and bidets. <laughs> yeah. Luxury boxes, clothing club, I got couponer, it for $5. and bidet. God damn it. You're yeah. gonna, uh, that's why everybody loves you. Did you get you, a tushy? I yeah. got a wicked deal on the bidet. I got it at one of those Amazon bin stores for five bucks. I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> oh, and I installed it and I used it once. And I was like, this has changed my life. <laughs> really? I don't know that I would trust a $5 bidet. Neither would no, I. No, it was good. It okay. was good. No, that's that great. seems but, like it's got a tracking chip in it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. So now we get to move on to, uh, well, Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. It's not. It's not. Is this the brain? <clears throat> no. Oh. That's not. Uh, but now this is uh, bad advice with We're Jeremy. Here, this is this is uh, this is new. You've never actually seen this, Dan. This is uh, I do watch your show. Okay, well you know really? we get to sit why? back. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> really? <laughs> I I can't think of one good reason why you should waste one second watching. I don't know. Show. I guess we almost make people crash their cars. I think that's kind of fun. <sighs> no, we don't. Uh, that's what they say. Uh, but yeah, right. Uh, but anyways, uh, no. This is a part of uh, the show where um, we take some uh, submissions from uh, listeners and fans who would like to get Jeremy's advice about a very bad situation or a very a situation it's that they're really in. Really, any life situation. Any, any sure. life situation, uh, good or bad, and uh, he gets they get to take advice from uh, Jeremy. Uh, this is when we get to sit back and let him uh, go on a rant. Sound good? I love this part. Okay, great. Go for it. All right, now, uh, this uh, week's uh, bad advice goes to Austin Smith. Uh, he writes, Jeremy, my name's Austin. I need bad advice because my girlfriend wants another kid at some point, and I want to get a vasectomy. She refuses to talk to me whenever I bring it up. I don't want any more kids because between the both of us, we have four I'm trying to avoid a driving. Oh, I'm trying to avoid driving a minivan, and I don't know how to set it straight. What kind of bad advice can you give me? Uh, just to uh, clarify, Dan, aside from that Firebird, what do you drive? A minivan, and I love it. Uh, I don't have kids, and you don't have any kids, <laughs> and that's uh, that and the chicken sausage, just <laughs> fucking creepy. Um, so basically, yes, this is a very uh, this is a very sensitive topic um, that you need to address uh, very assertively, and uh, there's a number of ways you can go about it. You can uh, get a bunch of guys together to go outside of your house and start picketing, chanting "My body, my choice." <laughs> uh, that seems to be very popular these days. Uh, another thing you can do is start doing things around the house to help kind of confirm what she probably already suspects about you, which is that you are a terrible and an inept father. Uh, like, let her catch you making a list of your kids from your most favorite to least. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, like, say if one of the older kids is picking on one of the younger ones, give that younger kid a pellet gun and tell him to go even the odds. <laughs> Or, uh, you know, maybe start serving a meal still in the can, like, but with still the jagged edge around it, you know, just, <laughs> just whatever you can do around to make her think that maybe having more kids around is not the best idea. Uh, you can also start, like, some nasty habit, like start huffing spray paint just so she's pretty sure you're going to have retarded sperm. Um, <laughs> You also might want to just start jerking off so many times a day that when it comes to sex time, you're just shooting blanks. <laughs> uh, and, you know, if, if all else fails, you just want to sit down and remind her that having a kid should be a choice that the both of you make together. And right now, that's not what you want. And But if at any point you change your mind, it is so easy to steal a baby. <laughs> uh, Aside from that, I'd say just go ahead and get that vasectomy, even though I'm not so sure that it's really going to do any good, because based on your, your note to us, it's pretty clear you don't have any balls, dude. Uh, so uh, that's my advice. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you very much, Mr. That's Joseph. Advice. My that pleasure. Is, that is great advice. But sure. thank you again to Austin Smith for the bad advice. We sincerely do appreciate it. Don't follow any of Jeremy's advice. That's why it's called bad advice. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you for explaining <laughs> that to them. I, uh, I feel like I've got to be the disclaimer sometimes, you know? Steal babies. <laughs> Steal, you know, 2022. Well, that's I mean, exactly it, right. I'm, I didn't say to do that. I said it's easy to. Oh, they don't oh, fight back. That's an ex-president. That's an ex-president slogan. Okay, uh, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Self-explanatory. But again, if you do have any suggestions for these, I know we get some from time to time, but some of them we've already done, and I don't have time to respond to all of you. It's just the way it is. 
But now, uh, first one, overrated or underrated, bottom butt cheeks. Oh, Dan, actually, this is his idea. I didn't know this, this is a thing until he showed me a picture of what it is. Underrated bottom butt cheeks are one of the most amazing parts of the female anatomy. I mean, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Is when this where I she see, wears shorts that are too short so the bottom of her butt cheeks? Yep, stick that, out little, that little curve of the butt. Uh -huh. and, and yeah. whether it's you're completely naked and you're just looking at the bottom of the butt, or you have some shorts on and little boy shorties and a little bottom curve where it meets the leg and goes, mm -hmm. that part is magnifique. And it's uh, probably right up there with bottom boob, like, you know, when you're wearing, like, a very uh -huh. short shirt. And I don't want to see your nipples. I just want yeah, to see I've that seen the bottom, of my boobs bottom, <laughs> bottom curve of them boobies. <laughs> uh, uh, very, very underrated. Uh, I, okay. I, I didn't know all of that. But, yeah, the bottom butt cheek is fucking underrated as hell. Uh, I agree 100% on the uh, the Daisy Duke style shorts and the uh, the boy short underwear. I think that it's fucking sexy. Uh, this bottom boob shit you're talking about those got me a little creeped out. So mm. not I'll that. Send you some really? Photos. Nope. Good. I'm gonna do underrated on just the bottom butt cheeks. Jeremy. It really depends on the girl. <laughs> this is true Honestly, as well. Because there's a lot of women out there who do it who aren't meaning to. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> They don't understand what their size is at the store. They don't have um, bottom butt cheeks. They have like that doubled asshole thing. It's like, like it's 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 like a fupa, but their ass. It's it's disgusting. Now that is underrated. The double butthole. <laughs> I would. Any chick with two buttholes is just. Yeah. Oh, ass -tasting. thank you. Oh, Jesus. But I'm going to go, if it's if it's an attractive woman with nice features, yes, I'm going to say that that's underrated. Small joke. That's pretty much any woman with a hysterectomy, so that's what that is. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Courtesy flushes. Yeah, we just talked about this. This is way underrated. Be nice to your fellow, you know, friend in the in the opposing stall. Be nice to them. Fucking give me a courtesy flush over here, pal. Dan? Overrated. Fuck you. Hella overrated. Everybody knows that once poop goes underwater, you can't smell it. You can't get rid of the smell that's in the air by flushing. Whatever smell came out of your butt is in the bathroom. <laughs> Whatever smell was coming off of your poop, once it's underwater, it is contained like a Ziploc bag inside of the water. Yeah, but, they but what if it's doing that Loch Ness Monster thing? <laughs> yeah, what if it's floating? Yeah, like, <laughs> wait, you have poop that floats? What are you eating? That's what they call floaters. helium balloons. Yes, exactly. Sc yeah, Scotty does eat a lot of balloons. I do. He's a coke mule for the cartel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, really grown a taste for fucking balloons. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's my favorite. How about you, Jeremy? Oh God, damn! I I don't know that I've ever been more apathetic to anything on here. Um, I think they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But I, I really don't care. Do you do them? No, not not on purpose. I Like I said, i got to admire the work. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's so gross. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Autonomous vehicles. This is those fucking Teslas out there that are driving themselves. Yeah. I have wanted this my whole entire life, and I'll never be able to afford it. I underrated. I m might be able to afford it, and I don't fucking want it at all. There's I think I think there's an equal. Okay, we got we got to go here. We got to go here because I everywhere I go, I go at least eight miles an hour over the speed limit mm -hmm. everywhere. So there's a there's a give and take here, which means those old fuckers that go five miles an hour under the speed limit and raise my blood pressure while I'm yelling fuck them like out the window. I get that that will also go away, but. Ah, fuck it. I want to be able to interweave through traffic of dumbasses. I think that would be a lot more um, more fun anyway. So I'm going to go with this is overrated as fuck. Underrated because I can't concentrate on the blowjob if I'm driving a car. That's the only time where it is acceptable. Yep. Jerry? It is tough to give a blowjob while <laughs> you're driving. Yeah, I'll is. be very honest. Dan's uh -huh. got a good point there. Mm -hmm. It's true. Um, okay. Autonomous vehicles is an amazing technology. So I certainly respect it for that. I don't know that I'm ready to turn my car over to a fucking computer just yet. Um, it does piss me off every time that you hear about one wrecking and somebody just goes off the fucking rails. And it's like, compare that to the safety record of people 
and see which one has killed more fucking people. Um, but no, I think it's going to lead to a lot better things. So I'm all for them. I'm going to say that they are underrated because, and, and here's, here's the other thing that makes them underrated. I can sit here and explain to you like the inner workings of an internal combustion engine. I don't know that I could necessarily make one. I have no idea how this shit works. <laughs> I know that there's cameras involved. Yeah. Okay. Sensors. Two of them. Sure. But yeah, the way that they, it's amazing how they work. There's a glitch uh, for the Teslas, actually, that people are fucking with all the Teslas. They're putting uh, like an orange uh, like handkerchief uh, behind their vehicle. So whenever a Tesla drives up behind them, it looks like a traffic cone. And uh -huh. so on the display of the Tesla, it looks like a traffic cone just fucking following the car. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny. Sweet. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next one. over. That's good for those people who can afford <laughs> Teslas. Yeah. Good, good for them. I'm glad they have something good in their life. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Watching a vegan react to somebody eating meat. Fucking underrated. I fucking love it. I think it's great. People okay. losing their shit over other people doing what other people want to do is absolutely stupid. So, yeah, this is uh, underrated. I mean, I think it's overrated. Everyone knows, especially in this room, that I'm a vegan. I only eat chicken sausage. I eat chicken. That's the only exception. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I'm vegan. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't spend all day, every day smoking meat and cheeses. That's, that's right. right. Uh, well, I mean, except for the you, meat and cheese you, part. Meat yeah. and cheese part. Aside yeah. from that. Yeah. yeah. That's true. How about you, Jeremy? Um... You know, I, I think that it's, I, I know a few vegans and none of them are actually like this. I can eat meat in front of them all day. They're perfectly fine with it. It's a lifestyle that they've chosen. But yeah, seeing the people who are hardcore vegans that do lose their shit over it. Yeah. I, I love just watching fucking nut jobs go fucking nut job <laughs> and just melt down in a way that they can't do anything about it other than melt down. When, they're, when their brain is so, they, they so badly want to do something and yet they can't do anything about it. And so they have no choice other than just to fall into a fucking puddle in the street. Yeah. I love that. Or make or under, just under any circumstances. It doesn't have yeah. to be vegans. True. Just anybody yep. who's just so angry about something because somebody else thinks something. That, I agree. Love it. <clears throat> All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? The Mandela effect. Yeah. That's where you get the... Uh, Sign language interpreter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To come in who doesn't know sign language. Right? <laughs> that's the one. No, the Mandela effect is. Yeah, I know what the okay, Mandela everybody. effect is. I, I hope so. Some people don't. The, the most common one that I see all the time is uh, people remember it being the uh, the Bernstein Bears, but apparently it's the Berenstain Bears and how they think that like universes are colliding together and we're remembering yeah. certain things from a previous Cause, universe. Because you didn't just re read something as a child. Yeah. No, no possible way of that. No, I mean, yeah, I it, it actually stems from there's a very large group of people who, like in 1991, when um, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, they remembered him not getting out of prison and dying, and they remembered the televised funeral, even though that never happened. Mm -hmm. So that's why they call it the Mandela effect. It's there, there's a scientific reasoning for it. Yeah, we're two things happened close together and people combined them into one event. There was some other famous funeral that happened mm -hmm. at the same time that he was let out of prison. Yeah. And that's why people confuse the two things. Yeah. Uh, I have experienced this many times yeah. myself. Uh, when Gene Wilder died, oh, I, yeah. I would have bet everything <laughs> that I owned that he had died five years prior to that. Yeah. Uh, so it is kind of creepy is when he, it does he's happen. dead? Yeah, Gene Wilder's dead. Yeah, sad. Look it up. No, he's not. <laughs> this, this will be my third time going through the death of Gene Wilder. God he, damn it, Gene, would you fucking die? He's not even sick. Yeah, that's shit. Uh, so uh, overrated or underrated? It's, it? it's, it's a fun like conspiracy theory thing to think about. So in that aspect, it's underrated, but there's no actual merit to it. Yeah, this is overrated for me as well. I, I think it is kind of a fun thing um, that... I'm even totally, totally guilty of it. Uh, some people have other ones that I don't have, and it's kind of the same thing along the lines of your uh, Mandela effect, uh, the same thing uh, with uh, Kazam and Shaquille O'Neal playing a genie. Everybody thinks that uh, Sinbad was actually the one in, in a movie very similar to that, but it was mm -hmm. kind of right around the same time, and so they mistake that. Uh, that's another one. But the Berenstain Bears one, Berenstain Bears one, fuck. I, I, it's Berenstain. Fuck off. 
So it's it's overrated, there, but there's reason. There for it. are people in the world who are furious with Sinbad for coming out and insisting. I was I, never in a movie yeah. playing a fucking genie. <laughs> exactly. Not yes. once. Not one time. And they're like, you fucking liar. No, no We saw you. No, he's telling the truth. I don't think he is. I think he's lying. <laughs> I think he's got good reason to want to cover this up. Because <laughs> it was And I want to get to the movie. fucking bottom of it. That's right. Fuck you, Sinbad. How about you, Dan? I think this whole world is a simulation. <laughs> So that's why I think it's like I misremember things. I don't believe that you guys exist. Okay. That the whole universe is just my life and experiences from my one person perspective. Okay. So that's why I think that sometimes in my deep conscious, I remember like the Monopoly guy has a monocle, has a monocle or mm-hmm. not, or the Mr. Peanut had a cane or he didn't or whatever. He didn't have a cane? He did. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. Pretty sure. Wow. I, I would ask someone, but no one exists, really. I saw, I saw a new one today. Oh, really? Yeah. Double stuffed Oreos. It's double stuffed. What? S-T-U-F. No double F. They can kiss my ass. Really? Yeah. You know they had mega stuff once? Did it have two Fs? So, I don't Those know. Those are a different thing, actually. Have you ever had anything with double stoof? <laughs> no. Oh, you get twice the stoof. <laughs> oh, stoof. <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, that was a new one. I used to have two sandwiches. Yeah, no shit. I took two mega stuffs and took two of the things off and put two mega stuffs together and it was like a quadruple stuff. And yeah. it was the best thing ever. Oh, for sure. You but know, here's, also here's, why 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 does why does um Oreos have the market on double stuff, but like toaster strudels like nah or, or pop tarts. They're yeah. like, no, nah, we're just gonna you screw remember you. Remember Toastums? No. Yeah. They, they were like the competitor of Pop Tarts mm. yeah, for a oh. while. Okay. Cool. They, uh, they weren't good. And I think <laughs> they weren't good. No. All they had to do There's was double the they filling. they lost the war. Yeah. yeah. They lost uh, the war. <laughs> but um, you, you want to hear something that might shock the fuck out of you? Let's yeah. go. Let's go. While it's for totally different reasons than Dan's fucking weirdo fucking hippie theories, uh, of all the conspiracy theories that I would be willing to uh, buy into, the idea that the world is a simulation is probably the top of my list. Yep. i would be top of mine, too. God, we're actually intelligent people. We better not tell I'm going to go back on what I just said now that Scotty <laughs> thinks that, too. No, dude. We actually are. We are intelligent people. And we can uh, do a whole episode on there's that. A like. good, yeah, there's a good... Now, I, I have an actual scientific reason for why and not just, oh, man. Glitches in the Matrix? Thing. Uh, yeah. No, it's not glitches in the Matrix. Oh, it's the damn. fact that there's not glitches in the Matrix. Oh, okay. I don't know. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, well, if you do have any suggestions to any of our segments, you can go to Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok or at Laughing on the Sidelines. There is a Q&A spot uh, that I do check uh, from time to time. Um, Dan, where are you going? Where are you going, Dan? Oh, she's got a drink right here. Oh. I can't talk. Oh, oh. You got a drink over there? I think you do. No, I don't. You asshole. I don't. You have a you... refrigerator that's empty. No, I do. Here you go. Wait. Hold on. Uh, oh, you're I'm going to be... I don't, oh, you got water? Not no. Drink. Well, I mean, not Disgusting. ones that haven't. Uh, you want to drink? Oh, sure, why not? Yeah, Thank I don't you. Care. I didn't take the cap off for you. Uh, but uh, again, if you, if you do have any, yeah, right. If you have any suggestions for any of the segments, you can go to at Laughing on the Sidelines, uh, submit them to us there, and uh, on Instagram or TikTok. Either way, uh, it's you know a lot of fun. Given Dan's weird fucking ways on this show, I'm surprised that he didn't ask us to spit in his mouth. I know, yeah. right? That just seems like something that he would say at some point. I'm surprised he didn't mm-hmm. swash. That's, that's, Daddy I challenge spit. you. Didn't swash it around and spit into a spittoon. Yep. I, I challenge you, Dan, to try and work that in somewhere. Yeah, that's that shit. Uh, but now we get to move on. On two questions and preguntas. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions for these, you can submit them at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or on TikTok. Put them in the Q&A. That's where I see them the most. Now we're going to get on the first one. First question. Sometimes I look at kids today and I think blank. We're fucked. But not a joke. Dan? Sometimes I look at kids today and think... Pull up your pants. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting old. By, by kids today, do you mean in uh, 2004? <laughs> yeah. Those kids? I think still, they pulled them up, didn't they? I think by now they did, but hopefully. They took Bill Cosby's advice. Yeah, that's right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I would think that that kid would look really good wearing a Firestone. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Firestone? Like a tire? Yep. Okay. Park <laughs> right on top of him. <laughs> Okay. I uh, I was actually out in my front lawn, or not on front lawn, but on my front porch the other day. It was in the morning. I was drinking a cup of coffee, and some kids were out playing, riding their bikes down the sidewalk in front of my house. And the only thought that I had was, 
you get one fucking tire in my grass. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to shoot you in the ass with a BB gun. <laughs> I will fucking wreck that bike. I will chase you down. Nice. Which I won't. And you won't. I can't catch those kids. He might. Uh, he chased him down with his vehicle that has yeah. Firestone tires and tread designs all over right. his ass. Uh, right. See how this fits. That's right. All right. <laughs> Next one. My childhood was ruined when I saw blank. Jaws. Fucked it all up. Wasn't terrified of nothing. Then I see Jaws at like two and a half years old. And from that point on, I can't swim in a swimming pool if it's dark outside. Fuck my life. Dan? Um, my life was ruined when I saw um, my dad's penis. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I was about penis high to a, an adult. And I uh, walked into the bathroom and uh Jesus. he's yeah Did i you call the authorities i'm so sorry you went through that we didn't even have phones back then <laughs> no. i mean it was <laughs> oh. yeah so it was you huge. did but you had to call the operator and have her connect you through <laughs> yeah exactly it's <laughs> like oh my god it's, what's that what it's supposed to look like no kid should ever have been forced to do what you ended up doing Uncut? after that no <laughs> well good catholic <laughs> folk <laughs> I don't know what that means because <laughs> most Catholics are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We trim, we trim right. the edges. Okay. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? What's the question? Again? <laughs> My childhood was ruined when I saw blank. Oh God, I'm gonna say the first time I saw a dog get hit by a car. Oh, that's a real one. Yeah. That's yeah, real it one. really fucked things up for me. Yeah. God, then I Your just wanted to learn how to way drive. Up. <laughs> what? Then I wanted to learn how to drive. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, taking it looks out? Like, looked like a lot of fun. Taking out little dogs? Uh-huh. Okay. Chihuahua, sure. Chihuahua no, I, dogs? Oh. I would never do that. No, I know you wouldn't. Uh, squirrels, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's 10 points. You ever right hit there. a fucking skunk? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. No, it's actually, it stinks, believe it or not. Well, and, and sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I'm also oh. going to say... Uh, uh, the first time on TV, because I was way too young to see this, a fucking naked woman. Oh. Because shit just wasn't where it was supposed to be as far as I knew. Oh, what? And that really kind of like, well, they don't have dicks, Scotty. I don't know if you've oh. ever seen a naked woman. Yeah. I had one. I'd seen myself naked yeah. several times. Okay. At that point. Uh, yeah, that, that really did screw me up. Okay. And why so much hair? I don't know. Back, yeah. back this would have been in the 80s. This would have been the 80s. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, it was fashionable to have, uh, uh, you know, have More than fashionable. There. Um, that's actually where they uh, ended up making, what are they called? Merkins. Merkins, yeah. That, that's where Merkins came yeah, from. Every one of them came from the 80s. That's right. All right, uh, next one. Bad professions in which to play practical jokes. Uh, the morgue. Yeah, that's a profession. Oh, my God, he's still alive. Really? Nope, just kidding. Fuck it. Dude, have you... Have you ever heard morticians tell their stories? No. Because there is shit that bodies will do with nervous reactions after they die. Oh, they will sit up sometimes. Fuck that shit. Uh, I'm out. Dead bodies fart. Oh, I knew, uh, I knew that one. Bad. Yeah. I guess it's <laughs> just everything in them. I mean, there's usually by the time a mortician gets to them, things are starting to go rotten. Uh -huh. uh, so that's a lot of fun. But yeah, apparently there there's like muscle spasms that can still happen after you die, like when rigor mortis sets in and shit, yeah. and it'll, they'll just set straight up. It's fucking weird. Yeah. All right. How about you, uh, Dan? Uh, Uber drivers. You don't want to oh, play a practical joke when your life's on the line yeah, that's true. with a guy from Nigeria. That's uh, Well, not yeah. I mean, can you imagine the guy? It's like, hey, you want to hit, you wanna hit 90? <laughs> you want to hit 90? Yeah, get fucked. No, I'm just kidding. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going to go with Navy SEAL. Yeah, that's yeah, another did, good one. Did you give me all smoke grenades? God <laughs> damn it. Now we're all going to die. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. That's good. I like it. I took the batteries out of your fucking radio so you can't call me <laughs> airstrike. God damn it. The batteries are dead. Uh, give me Chavez. <laughs> they replaced your camouflage. I'm going to get you good. Your camouflage paint with <laughs> glitter. Yeah. <laughs> They go and fuck with the dials on your scope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's another good one. Why can't I hit him? The fucking dot's right on him. Uh, you're in a heavily jungle area or whatever, uh -huh. and they give you the fucking camo for tundra. That'd stick yeah, out like a sword. Sure. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, man, we can do a whole bunch of these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, War's not a pleasant situation as it is. It's not. And, and while it would be nice to spice it up with some jokes, I don't know that those guys are the ones no. who want to pull that on. That's true. I just thought of rubber bullets. <laughs> no, that's where I was going. Nerf guns, you fucks. 
All right. Uh, last question. Straight. No, it's not, is it? Yeah, it is. No, we got two more. Yeah. No, that's the last one, buddy. No. We Next got one and S then and the Z. bottom one. Which one am I missing? S. Oh, never mind. Sorry. My bad. Uh, let's see. There you go. My my fault. Uh, next one. In all seriousness, dude. You've Shut missed. the fuck up. All right. Next one. Best things to say when someone knocks on the door of the public bathroom stall you are in. Hey, daddy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm spitting my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> my mouth's getting dry. <laughs> That's disgusting. Slower. Oh no! Quit it. This is making me cringe. Uh, uh, mine's easy. Huh. Seats taken. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> He's hit that button five times, all for his own job. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that the funniest works. thing he does. He gives himself <laughs> that's improper that's rim shot. That's all I do. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, thank God you're here. <laughs> I need some, some yeah. assistance. And, no, just cut it off there. Okay. <laughs> so he's just left outside imagining yeah. stuff. <laughs> Proper <Fist> bullets. <laughs> yeah. Nerf guns, uh-huh. you motherfuckers! Thank God you're here. My gun's jammed. <laughs> Okay. Pull up your pants. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Do you know how to skin a rabbit? <laughs> All right. This is actually the last one. Uh-huh. Last one. Strange side effects people get after being struck by lightning. I got one. Can it just be anything, or does it have to be like real ones that people have experienced? Oh, no. Every time you fart... Like lightning bolts shoot out your ass and you become a fucking problem for everybody around you. <laughs> you just came up with a new plot for the next door movie, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't try to put that into this. I'm surprised he's not like one of the remember the the Majestic Men or Mystic Men, whoever the fuck it was, the group of superheroes, like the spleen, right? Oh, the mystery men. Mystery men, thank yes. you. I, that should have been one. That's God, what happened. That was that was one of those movies that they could have done so, so much more. So much with. more with they it. did nothing. They tried to make a superhero movie kinda sort out of. of it. Except when they were training and the guy had his feet in the watermelons. <laughs> yeah. So why am I doing this? I never told you to. You just did that on your own. That was it. <laughs> no, but that would have been a great superhero for that. Sure, it would. Yeah. How about you, Dan? Permanently hard nipples. <laughs> <laughs> they're conductors. Yeah, they're just you just now you just used to have nice flat. Now you can't wear a shirt, you know, dress shirt without <laughs> some protection. You're like Andy from the office. You're yeah. like you got a tape over. It's like, oh, did you get struck by lightning? <laughs> yeah. They're abnormally long too, like pencils. Just <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can put on there to cover that up. Oh, they keep shit. growing as you get older. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's gross. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to say the ability to fast forward live TV. Oh, really? Not rewind. Fast forward. Fast forward. It. <laughs> that's a, that's it a sure hell is. Of thing, man. Like in a football game? Yeah. You can find out who won. Oh. Now you can't go back, though. Yeah. That lightning didn't come with a fucking rewind feature. Mm. Yeah. I, see, if I know anything about lightning, and I know a lot about lightning, guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I consider myself to be kind of the show's resident lightning expert. Uh, yeah, you, there's no rewind with lightning. Sure. Everybody knows that. Another one was, uh, I don't know, we, we talk about it all the time, but like uh, uh, an erection that never goes away. I think that would, that would be a good one, too. Okay. That would be all right. Be I good. would be okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. But every time you had sex, it'd be like you're shocking her. Ooh. Do you see? Yeah. It's it's like give her the shocker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fun. Every time just an abnormally limp handshake. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's... You can tighten your hand at any other time till you go to meet somebody and then just oh. you know, <laughs> dead fish. That's the fucking worst. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, our questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Now we get to move on to a favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, Last week, of course, as always, I come in last. So that's just that's just kind of the thing, and uh, nobody likes me, and that's totally cool too. And if it well, wasn't, they sure don't. Well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a fucking show. So suck it. 
Anyway, um, and you say that like it would be a bad thing. I mean, that's yeah, true. I mean, these guys, you'll never wondered. see these guys ever again. Uh, but anyways, not have a fucking show. Great. Uh, anyways, uh, Jeremy ended up uh, walking away with that one pretty handily. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, good for you. Death. Get your is a pretty bad side effect. That is a pretty fucking bad side effect. That's and it, it made it to number three. There you go. Um, so this week, uh, now that we've got uh, Dan the Man, um, he's going to have the first pick this week. Uh, since I came in dead last, I get the sandwich pick, and Jeremy gets the championship picks uh, back-to-back. And this week's draft is going to be our favorite Tom Hanks movies. Tom Hanks movies. So uh, none other than Dan, the man, you get the first pick. Go ahead. I'm running. Uh, Forrest fucking Gump. Okay. Forrest Gump. Gotta be. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, that's pretty close to the 101, but I don't quite think that's the number one. Uh I'm I'm gonna go. Let's see. I think that some of these will get back to me, and some of them won't. So where do I want to go? Uh, fuck. Jeremy's gonna take that one. So I, I'm gonna go with my favorite as a kid. Uh, I'm gonna go with Big. I loved that movie. Jeremy, you get two in a row, dude. Well, no fucking surprise here. Apollo 13. Okay. And then uh, Shaving Ryan's Private. <laughs> Is that the spinoff of Saving... Uh, yeah, it's a sequel. Okay, it's a sequel? It, okay. Yeah. What they don't tell you is that uh, uh, Matt Damon went on to actually spend his entire life just shaving guys named Ryan's I was really... Su- I was surprised. They were, he was the predecessor to Manscaped. He's founder of Manscaped. Oh, that makes sense. That's uh, Ryan was. I, I was really surprised in that movie how he uh, he shot a tank with a 9mm bullet and it blew it the fuck it, up. He really... Uh, he that's must, a forty five, Scotty. Oh, it was a forty five. Fuck I'm yes. so sorry. Come on. I didn't know what kind of gun it was. 9mm. It's Shit, a 1911. Oh, okay. Then yeah, forty five. Yeah, forty five. He must have hit a gas tank or something like that. Probably. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, well, anyways, uh, I actually did get the one that I wanted to come back to me. Uh, ooh, maybe I didn't. Shit. Uh, I mean, it's still there, but... I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. You should know what's been pe- taken I, so I, far, I'm, I'm not gonna many. Go, I'm going to go with A League of Their Own. You fucker. Yeah, wow. that, that was the one that I was like, ah, I don't think I'm going to have it, so I better take it now. I still have the two best. No, you don't. I get to go twice? You get to go yeah, two. You get, you get to go two, two in a row, dude. I get cast away. Okay. That was a shit movie. <laughs> Fuck you, a shit movie. <laughs> the, the mo- iconic. People. Iconic. You could say okay. just the word Wilson and people know exactly what you're talking okay. about. Okay, Dennis the Menace. Off, 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 off camera, I will tell you I love that movie. On camera, I will say it was shit because so many people walked out of it because he didn't talk throughout the majority of the fucking movie. But I yep. secretly do love that movie. I'll Good movie. You. And, and uh, the next one. Honestly, though, can, can we talk about this for a second? Yeah. yeah. How fucking depressing. Is the way that the situation worked out awful? I mean, absolutely it's, it's, awful. I mean, there are no fucking winners in that. No, absolutely not. It fucking awful. It keeps me up at night thinking about him. I know. Me too. I hope that that girl I'm over right now, guys. I hope I hope that girl that he met with the box that had stupid wings had a fucking cell phone in with a battery pack or some shit. I hope he went up there and said, "Here's my box. Let me see yours." <laughs> okay, that would I have been bet, the perfect end of that movie. Right. I bet it had like that monkey butt powder, it was like just something that would just made like <laughs> yeah. your life a lot easier. Right? Yeah. <laughs> In Toy Story, I'm taking the whole franchise. Uh, yeah, it had a fucking yeah. sat phone in it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> All right, so Dan takes Castaway and Toy Story, and uh, son of a bitch, uh, that was gonna be that was gonna be the one I was gonna sneak in, but I should have known it wasn't gonna go. But uh, I like to think really of that as as more of a uh, Tim Allen movie, but whatever. Yeah, okay. get out of here. That's fair. Um, this is actually secretly my favorite Tom Hanks movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. I am taking Catch Me If You Can. That's a good movie. I fucking love it. I will watch it all the time, especially it when I'm editing. It would never fucking end. Oh, it was great. That movie just kept going oh, on and on and on. Fucking great. Uh, if, you, if you bitch about DiCaprio not winning an Oscar, he could have won one for that. Uh, Jeremy, not with Hanks in the picture. Not with Hanks in the picture. You're right. Uh, okay, Jeremy, you get two. Is it me already? Yeah, you get two in a row. Well, I'm going to go with The Da Vinci Code. Damn it. Love that movie. I do, too, and it's a bunch of bullshit. It's one of those ones that whenever it's on, I, I have to watch it. It's very good. Uh, yeah, and that that's the thing, too. It is based entirely on bullshit. It wasn't even like a real... Mm-hmm. It, it's based off of another book, mm-hmm. a, a bullshit theory that they made up for another book. Yeah. Um, I'm going to then say... Don't do it. Don't you fucking God do it. God damn it. I'm going to have to go just a little bit old school. No! 
No! Bachelor party? Okay, now you're good. I don't <sighs> know what the fuck you're thinking of. Oh, no. I thought you were going to take my dog movie. Oh, fuck that movie. Turner and Hooch. I will take it. And now, Dan the Man, you get your last two picks. Just so you know, Scotty, by now, that dog's dead. I know. He died a long time ago. But that's okay. I can just so assuredly say he's dead. He died. All right, Dan, you get two. God, it's so hard because the rest are just all like kind of middle of the road, mediocre. Oh, no. There's still some good ones in there. All right. I'm going to go with, um, God, it's so bad. Better take it. Do I need to do the Jeopardy music? Yeah, do the Jeopardy music. <laughs> I don't have it, so I can't. All right, I'm going to go. Um, That's all I got. No, I like it. <laughs> captain Phillips. Okay. And then you get one more. I'm the captain now. Yeah, I'm the captain now. And so. I'm going to go old school with. God, that just Find yourself a shitty love story. Joe, uh, sleepless in Seattle. Oh, you were going to go Joe versus Volcano, weren't you? (laughs) I was. I was going to go uh, uh, Joe versus Volcano, but I hated it so much, but it is like a cult classic. And and I don't know why. I mean, it's probably Rick Dukeman's finest work. Um, That was his neighbor. Okay. I have one time a respected stand up comedian. Right. I have a a couple. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, a very, very, very good movie in The Green Mile. Um, that's a you talk about a movie that won't fucking end. That won't fucking end. Apparently, I like long fucking movies. You told the fucking story. Why do we got to keep hearing about this goddamn mouse? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, but yeah, I'll take Green Mile and then I'll give you my uh, honorable mention when we're done. Uh, Jeremy, last pick, dude. Um, what's the topic again? Uh, Tom <laughs> Tom Hanks. I'm just that disconnected. Yeah. Uh, where in the fuck is my list? I don't know. I had a list. Where'd you put it? Did you keystring it again? It's in my ass. There it is. Get it out, Daddy. There you go. Um, (laughs) Dad. No, Dad. Sorry, just Dad. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, Pops. Yep. Uh, (laughs) Fucking crazy. It it sure is. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, okay. God damn it. Where in the fuck is my... uh, Jesus Christ. Swear to God, this is the absolute <laughs> worst the day of and, my fucking life. Yeah, the burbs. That's it. Yeah. I don't even think Tom Hanks liked that movie. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Road to Perdition. Okay. I like that movie. Okay. Uh, I had some... Uh, there's This one's not on a whole bunch of lists, but I really did like this one. Um, I... I I The money, money Pit. Yeah, when he falls through the floor. When he falls through the floor is the funniest fucking scene. So I, I, I like that a one. Duck fart. <laughs> yeah, that's actually where uh, that term came from, didn't it? My honorable no. mention is Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It was groundbreaking at it, the time. Yes, it was. was. He really won was. an Academy Award for it. Yeah, uh, the terminal. Or did was he nominated or did he win it for? He won it for I, Philadelphia. I appreciate it. And and Forrest Gump back to back, and then was nominated for Apollo thirteen. Yeah, didn't win. And did not win. Nick Cage won right. for Leaving Las Vegas. The terminal. I liked. Really? It was it was really really slow, but yeah, I kind of dig. I I dig. I dug it a little bit. So how about that movie Elvis? A punchline. <clears throat> hey, that's you want to see a, what real stand up comedy is truly like. Watch Punchline. Yeah. You know where where the comedians have lockers. Mm-hmm. Right. Like they do in every fucking comedy club. Yeah. If I've lockers. ever been to a club without a locker, uh-huh. I just walk I, out. I, I walk out. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm too big for this place. Some places don't even have a fucking green room. N- no place has lockers. I know. I'll tell you that. I know. Uh, but the other one, uh, oh shit, that I Sully. had. Uh, I like Sully. Sully. Sully was good, uh, but that wasn't the one I was thinking of. God that thing you do. Oh fuck, that's such a good one. God damn it, I would have picked that. I would have picked that. But instead, you took Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch. I like Turner and Hooch. That's okay. It's a good movie. It's a dog movie, man. You gotta love it. Uh, that's our draft, guys. You can go on to Facebook.com and vote for your favorite list of Tom Hanks movies by clicking on the corresponding emoji. And uh, whoever wins doesn't get shit, just bragging rights for a week. That's how it works. Uh, but now we, we, get, we to- get a brick of Dan smoked cheese. That's exactly mm, right. Maybe. For, for what it's worth, it's f- fucking delicious. Yeah, hit yes, me up is. if you want some smoked cheese, some I, smoked maple syrup. Oh, Jesus. Um, Tie dye uh, tapestries. Oh, yeah. Dan's just a marvelous man. Man, that's you, why everybody likes you're it. You hurting for money, Dan? Is that the problem? <laughs> no, I just I stopped watching a lot of TV except for my two favorite yeah, shows, no Big shit, Brother, sounds like, and uh, Below Deck, and started taking part in activities. Okay, good for you. Arts and crafts for Dan. 
Uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation sponsored by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Valve Reefs, but they're, it's a gold-bearing reef, which is mined for its gold uh, near the town of Orkney. That's in the northwest province of uh, South Africa. I'm sure you already knew that. I did, I'm, yeah. I'm more, yeah. you know, for the fans. Um, uh, now, I know how, uh, you know, they, they talk about, like, African gold mines, how it's really not a pleasant situation to be in. Uh, that's not where you want to be at all. So imagine how bad your day would be if say you were just finishing up your day at the bottom of the gold mine and you were getting onto the man lift and a locomotive ran the fucking rails down the man lift shaft and crashed into your <laughs> elevator car. Oh my God. That's exactly what happened on May 10th, 1995. One of the little locomotives that they used to carry the, the gold that they mine away, fucking jumped the rails, fell 1500 feet down on down the lift shaft and crashed into the lift car, killing all 104 miners that were on it. Um, oh, what were their children doing down there? Not not those kind of miners. Oh. Oh. Old miners. <laughs> I don't know how old they were. They may have been underage. Uh, and uh, and now your child can recreate the magic of that moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. There's gold in them in our hills. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather be having sex with your wife and she calls you by the name Tiny, or would you rather her call you an ex-boyfriend's name? I'm taking the fucking name all day. Leroy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. I'll get a Leroy. Yeah. Are we on me now? I'm going. Uh, well, was I just, that Dan's answer? Yeah. Or, or is, is, is I want to be Dan called Leroy. Into, Leroy. I just don't want to be called Tiny. I mean, that's that's a little too much. Right? Well, that's because you're just a little guy, Scott. I'm just a little guy. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to go with the ex-boyfriend name. As a guy who's been big and fat for way too long, I'm going to be honest with you. I would I would actually kind of <laughs> appreciate being called Tiny. Come here, uh, Tiny. Come here, Tiny. It's, it's not like she's getting anything out of this anyway. <laughs> I mean that's that's, that's just the, the sad fact of it. I'm I'm doing this for me, not her. Yeah. I like to role play. Go ahead and call me Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, and all, we, we you have to be wanting to be Tiny. You don't want the ex boyfriend. If it's the ex boyfriend, you're fucking up. Yeah, yeah. I, I caught myself. Unless she that. <laughs> always does that. It just calls you like tiny? that's her nickname. Is just her old boyfriend's name. <laughs> that's her nick new nickname for you. She says it all cutesy and stuff. Come on, Chad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, what if? How it did is, you know? What if my it's a smarmy Chad fucking was name the like name. Chad? I don't know. Oh, fuck Chad, you dick. I, I just work for a guy. You did a research. Yeah, I work with a guy named Chad. Well, fuck him. A, he's kind of an asshole. That's what I, I say. Yeah, perfect. That's great. Chad. Uh, but anyways, Brad and uh, do we got any shows coming up, Jeremy? I do. Oh my god. This Friday, come check me out. I'll be doing the uh, midnight show at the Looney Bin. I'll be a part of uh, Jeremy Rush's uh, storyteller show. Nice. And um, Jeremy so Rush has been on this show before. Let me uh, look up here. I just got the lineup from him today. Awesome. In fact, Looney uh, Bin located at 215 North St. Francis Street in downtown that, Wichita, that's Kansas. That's right. But this isn't going to be the live at 215 Performing Arts Theater, folks. <laughs> it's going to be out in the lobby. That's where the magic happens. Nice. Uh, let's see. We're going to have uh, Megan Welch, there you which go. is great. Uh, Uncle Bam, he's pretty good. Aaron Scott Hahn. I, guess, I think it just goes by Aaron Hahn now, doesn't he? He well, goes by Aaron Hahn. Yeah. Uh, very funny. He was uh, tied the year before you, tied for Wichita's Funniest Person Contest. Nice. And then uh, our good old buddy Esteban Petros there you go. is going to be on that show as well. And um, now, okay, most of these, you know, everybody on here is a comedian, so most of the stories are going to be funny, but the stories don't have to be funny. This is not a stand-up show. It's a storyteller show, so just know that going into it. You're probably going to hear a lot of filler in between funny shit and some of the stories may not be funny at all some people may have multiple stories i'm gonna go on about stories yeah okay for a while. however many stories that fucking locomotive fell <laughs> that's how many we're gonna be doing that night but i believe the show starts at midnight and oh. that is at the looney bin here in wichita kansas there you go uh well, i know it's late 
Just fucking do it. Just fucking come out. <laughs> okay, fair. God damn it. Uh, but we do have uh, tickets still available for our live show here in Wichita, Kansas at Vorshay's Lounge. Uh, you can go get those tickets on our in our link in our bio uh, on TikTok and Instagram. And uh, also the link is still at the top of uh, or the top post on our Facebook page if that's how you get down on your old. Um, but yeah, and then uh, also when this episode airs, it will be Wednesday, July the 13th. Go and see A.J. Wilkerson uh, and his buddy Jacob. That is going to be uh, Jacob Rubel. Um, that's going to be a very fucking funny show. So please, please get it. If you get a chance, go and see those guys. It's going to be fucking hilarious. But yeah, that's all I got. Anybody got anything else? Cool. Awesome. Did guys. I talk about the show on Friday? <laughs> yeah, you did. It's actually technically Saturday morning. Okay, fine. If you really think about it, I <laughs> yeah. mean midnight, yeah. Yeah, it starts at eight, right? Midnight. Midnight. Oh, oh okay. that's why they call it the midnight show. Well, I thought they well, were. Well, I mean, Friday at midnight. That's that is a confusing term because midnight would suggest middle of the PM, which would be six o'clock. Yeah. Exactly. So show up at six, everybody. <laughs> uh, if we go. don't start the show right away, be sure and go into the showroom. I'm sure there's going to be some great comedy going on in there a couple those, times that night. Those of you, it's the very first time that you were able to hear Dan, the man and why we tell everybody, if you don't like him, well then fuck you. Uh, this is exactly why. Thank you so much, Dan, for being a guest you on the show. You don't like Dan the man. you got a problem with yourself. That's right. Damn right. Damn right. Uh, but thank you very much, Dan, and we sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, guys, uh, keep on doing what you are doing. Uh, the show continues to grow. We sincerely appreciate all that you do. Uh, keep commenting and sharing our TikToks, liking them, obviously. That helps out a lot. Uh, and as always, we like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope all your hot dogs come stadium price. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer. Woo! We will see you later. Take care.